Back in the real world, we see Ray at the game shop quietly looking for Hizutome. The owner says he isn't there and asks if she wasn't able to find him yet. After she explains everything, the owner says it's what Hizutome would do, but Ray still needs to find him and finally confess her feelings. In Hizutome's house, we see his sister for the first time, Rumi. While she goes out to work, the protagonist is reading about unique scenarios in Shangri-La Frontier. No matter how much he looks, he can't find the mission he's doing. The rabbit a scenario on the wiki follows a different set of rules and a different boss. This means he is the only person in the game who knows about that unique scenario and everything it entails. He starts remembering when he was talking with the Vorpal Bunny's boss. Vaisek says Sunraku has a tremendous, Vorpal soul, and asks the protagonist to train under him. Thinking he'll get buffs, Sunraku accepts the offer. He does that by calling Vaisek, a Niki, older brother in Japanese, a joke as the bunny looks like a Yakuza. Then, in a funny twist, the boss loves it and tells Sunraku he can call him Vash. The protagonist will be under Emil's care. However, before they can leave, he is forced to use a Vorpal Soul Collar. The item halves the EXP he receives but makes him gain 2.5x stat points when leveling up. Up to the present, Hizutome complains he has to enter BOP, a trash game, to talk with a friend. Now in the fighting game's world, he meets Katso, a blonde player who wants to fight him. They start fighting by using Bob's glitches and attract a crowd, but Katso defeats Hizutome before many people arrive. Katso says he didn't expect Hizutome to actually enjoy SLF, short for Shangri-La Frontier. But, thanks to that, he has also become interested in it. We quickly cut to see an acquaintance of them playing SFL 2. The character is a level 99 girl with purple hair and a spear. Also, they are powerful, use the name Arthur Pensilgan, and have a warning sign saying they have killed other players. To make things worse, the person says they want to meet Sunraku in the game. Sunraku goes to Sfell and returns to the city with Emil. As many players are joining the game because of summer break, he wants to go to the third town soon. Emil doesn't understand anything he is saying, but the bunny agrees either way. However, before they can leave, two girls spot them. The girls are excited to see Emil and want to know how Sunraku tamed a Vorpal bunny. Our protagonist. Glad he's the only one who knows about the unique scenario, doesn't want to share information. He shuts them all up and runs away. Even so, one of the players manages to take a picture without them noticing. Before Sunraka knows, many people will probably be discussing his achievements and finding out his secret. On the way to the third town, Sunraka stops to test a theory. He wants to know how weaker monsters will flee him now, as he has Lycagon's curse. One creature tries to escape him, but he is faster than it and traps it with his weapon. So now he knows he still can kill some of the monsters even if they try to run away from him. They reach a giant swamp with the area's boss, Mud Digger, a giant shark with legs. He's Sun Raka's natural enemy, as the swamp forces players to be in a walking state, stopping them from running. As Sun Raka's best ability and build consist of speed, things aren't going well for him. The episode review another great episode. Vaisek is very charismatic, and we're excited to learn more about his objectives. Does he want to train Hizutome so he perform a certain mission for him? Maybe kill one of the Colossi? That'd be amazing. Surprisingly, probably the best thing about the episode is actually when we leave Shangri-La Frontier. The glitch battle between Katso and Sunraku is the most creative moment in the anime. It fits the theme and brings jokes exclusive to this kind of story. It's a shame they don't use more trash games in the story like this. Additionally, the same scene presents us with Arthur Pensilgan. Even though we don't know anything about them, they seem like an interesting character. When Sunraka meets them in the game, they'll probably have a fight, which will be great to measure each of their strengths. It'll also be the start of Hizutome's party. Unfortunately for Hizutome, his secret will be found out soon. Or, at least, he'll get the attention of many players trying to find out more about him all. Next episode, 
we'll most likely see the reaction of some people in the forums of the game. Talking about that, we'll also get more action and get an interesting battle. The Mud Digger has an advantage over Sunraku, so he'll need a strategy to deal with it. In every fight we have seen up until now, he has relied on his speed, so this will also be a moment of development for him as a player. That's to say, as always, we are hyped as ever to watch the next episode of Shangri-La Frontier.